Hey YouTube, I'm back and I'm back. Guess why? Because I missed you. Well, today I wanted to talk to you about a very serious matter. This is like really serious. I'm like really gonna try. Yes, I'm gonna try to be serious because yes, it is serious and it's affecting me. A lot. So what I want to talk to you about today is the fact that I have a disease called hyperparathyroid. Hyperparathyroidism disease. And it's very hard to live with it. So it is like one of the main diseases of the thyroid gland, of the parathyroid glands. Now, it is not actually the thyroid that is affecting me. And the reason why my voice is the way that it is, no, it's actually behind the thyroid. We have four glands, and these are called parathyroid. Basically, what hyperparathyroidism does is, well, first of all, there is one called hypoparathyroidism, which is a very, very low, like critically low calcium levels in your body, through your blood bloodstream, uh, which is very, very difficult also. Mine is hyperparathyroidism disease, and what mine does is that it my my parathyroid glands um, are putting out way too much calcium in my blood, and it's pulling the majority of the calcium from my bones. So that's very dangerous very dangerous um basically that is the disease normal ranges for hypoparathyroid normal ranges for parathyroid uh, secretions of calcium in your body is 74 mine are at 144 percent so very very hard the only thing that I, the only way that I know that uh, hyperparathyroidism is reversed or or cured is through surgery, and unfortunately, a lot of endocrinologists don't do the surgery. A lot of doctors do not know how to number one diagnose the disease because i've been living with it for too many years way too many years and it has been misdiagnosed plenty of times and right now my even my endocrinologist my specialist is like iffy about the surgery although i have been diagnosed with hyperparathyroid disease The, the, to me, um, what is so scary about it is that the only way for this level, the amount of level of calcium that I is running through my system right now to be that high is that one of my parathyroids, one or more of my parathyroids has had to have developed some type of tumor, which is an enlargement. It is not cancerous. The majority of the time, sometimes it is. Mine apparently are not. Thank God. Whew. However, there, there are tumors there. And apparently, the test that they have been uh, doing on me are not... 
picking up where the tumors are. That's not good. Believe me, that is not good at all. Uh, I don't know. really how to deal with it I haven't been able to deal with it at, uh, as of yet and mostly right now what I'm feeling is is, is a lot of anger can you see me I'm like Ugh! constantly on a Ugh! mode a lot of frustration because of my having to have lived and still living with this um, disease the symptoms, and let me tell you about the symptoms, or at least the symptoms that I am experiencing. Uh, are very, very hard. So, not only is my level of calcium at 144%, which is really, really high, but my vitamin D level has dropped dramatically. My vitamin D level has dropped dramatically. And it's not like I could just go and take over-the-counter uh, vitamins or vitamins that the doctor would prescribe for me or a dieting. No, I can't even diet. As a matter of fact, I overeat, like, constantly. I have to get up about three or four o'clock in the morning every day, go into the kitchen, fix me a full meal, eat it, and come back to bed. And I've been doing this forever. I am, my body is constantly burning everything that I eat. I am so skinny. I literally, I, I went from a size 14 to a size three and I'm at a size three and there's nothing that I eat nothing that I can do to be able to put on any weight nothing it's like super skinny that's one two is severe headaches the calcium in my body gives me Severe headaches, constant headaches, constant migraines. Constantly. I cannot take any or a lot of medication for my migraines because, unfortunately, hyperparathyroidism affects the kidneys. And so I've developed kidney stones constantly. Uh, urinary tract infections due to the kidney stones. Um, so that's another pain that, that hurts. Um, my liver enzymes are high. Can't take lots of Tylenol, lots of ibuprofen, any over-the-counter medication, much less medication prescribed by the doctor. So the pain is really hard because the, the parathyroids are pulling all of the calcium from my bones and distributing it all over my body, the pain in my body is from the time I wake up, the time I go to sleep, in the middle of my sleep, I wake up with pain. I'm in constant pain. And it's a, a, a pain like, I don't know, you cannot tell where it is, whether it's like, what is it? What hurts? What hurts? Does my fingers hurt? Um, is it my bones? Is it my muscles? What type of a pain is it? Oh my God, I'm aching. Um, oh, here we go. Head, shoulder, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulder, knees and toes, knees and toes. Yes. Head to toe hurts. Constant pain. Terrible. And you just live with it because you cannot treat one symptom to make another one worse. 
Yeah. It sucks. It sucks. Let me tell you. It sucks. So. <sighs> what can you do about it? Nothing. Nothing at all. You know, the, 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 the frustrating thing for me right now is that the surgery takes less than 20 minutes. And then, sus, I'm done with pain. I'm done with all of these ridiculous symptoms. And I'll be able to gain weight. I'll be able to not worry about the pain. Not worry about my kidneys, my liver, the tumors in my parathyroid. Because let me tell you, like x-rays or MRIs or the systemic uh, type of MRI, which I've already had done, they miss the tumors if they're very much buried behind, the th behind your your thyroid behind in your throat so most of them are missed and then it's just like well let's wait let's wait well you know what i can't wait because it hurts it hurts like like even like ouch like ouch like ouch like ouch everything it's frustrating well, the other thing that, the other symptom that I have noticed is a lot of anxiety. Like, like one minute I'm okay, one second I'm okay, and then the next, the next second I'm like, <gasps> and I'm in full blown anxiety attack. Those are never fun. Never fun. Another symptom that you may, uh, people with hyperparathyroidism can have, but I do, is depression. <laughs> Yay! Pain. A disease. Migraines. Yes! Thank you! Um, anxiety, and on top of it, Icing on the cake, depression. Yes. Really? A uh, give me a break. It's really bad depression. Again, nothing you can do. You cannot put medication into your system because you don't know how it's going to be affected by all of the calcium into your in your system. Uh, not to mention the fact that. You really don't want to put nothing in your system that is going to tax your liver or your kidneys any more than they already are by the calcium. Okay. So what do I do? Suck it up. Yeah. Oh, I said I was going to be serious, right? Dang it. Okay. So. Pain all over your body, migraines, anxiety, depression, liver, kidneys. Am I missing something? Osteoporosis. Please do not fall. Do not trip. Do not bang yourself because guess what? Sass. A broken bone. It's sucking up all of the calcium from your bones. They're becoming brittle. Mm-hmm. Oh. And then the atta anxiety attacks that you're getting um, mimic a heart attack. So the ambulance comes and picks you up. There you go to the emergency room. Spend two to three days in the hospital. They send you home because your heart is okay. But, if my heart is okay, 
watch this. Then why am I on nitroglycerin? And I've been on nitroglycerin going on in 20 years now. But, 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 my heart is okay. And they've got me a nitro. Yeah. What else? What other symptom have I felt with this? Oh, oh so cheek. Um, this is that uh, they finally diagnosed me with. Hmm. Well, I think that's about all of, all of my symptoms. Oh, no. Forgot one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, forgot one. You become very forgetful. Very forgetful. It's like one minute you're about to do something and then the next second. What was I going to do? And it's a constant thing. The bad thing about it is that, and I've experienced this, is that sometimes I'm like I'm driving and I'm like, and you know, I love listening to music on my radio as I'm driving full blast. And I'm like rocking it in my car, rocking it in my car. I start singing the song. I'm getting into the music and then go, where am I going? Where am I going? Where's that going? Where was that going? And I'm trying to dress up. Where's that going? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to Walmart. Mm -hmm. Or you're in the middle of a conversation and you're like talking, talking. To... What's I going to say? And it's a constant thing. The worst of it all is that you get very civil. Yes. Like one second, I am Susie Miss Homemaker, Betty Crocker, Paula Deen. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm like the, the, the sweetest little angel in the world. So sweet, I'm so sweet. And the next minute, the next second, the next second, my head is spinning. And I turn into the exorcist. And I will come out and get you with everything I have. Yes, civil. Mm hmm. Or one minute I'm happy, happy, happy. And then the next second. Yeah. I'm going to link, I'm going to post a link to hyperparathyroid.com. Post the link below. If you have any of these symptoms, if you're experiencing any of this chronic pain, chronic migraines, um, you know you feel sick. You know your body. The doctors don't. They're guessing and they're going according to what you're telling them. They're just guessing. And then they run these tests, they run these tests. But it's, it's, a, it's a gift. It's not an exact science. You know your body. You know when you don't feel good. Talk to your doctor. If one don't listen, don't wait. I did and I, re I will regret it for the rest of my life. If you're not satisfied, get a second opinion and a third and a fourth and a fifth. And a six. I'm losing my hair. It's become so thin, so brittle. And I used to have long, long lion mane of hair. I've lost 
like half of my teeth are gone. Um, yeah, because they were misdiagnosing me and they let it go too long. Get a, a, a second opinion, get a third opinion, talk to a fourth doctor, keep on going to doctors, keep on knocking doors until you get diagnosed. And if they don't want to do the surgery, get a second opinion and a third and a fourth and keep on knocking and knock those doors down until you find a doctor that will do the surgery. And let me tell you why. Hyperparathyroidism will not kill you. No, it won't. Not hyperparathyroidism. What will kill you is kidney failure, liver failure, a heart attack, a stroke, embolism, blood clots. That's what it will kill you. But those come from too much calcium in your system. Yeah. I'm wasting away skin and bone. Like one of these little skulls. That's how I'm walking around. That's how I'm walking around. Oh, and I can't wear my cute heels because I'm afraid to fall. May break a bone. So yeah, watch out doctors, watch out doctors. I've already been diagnosed with this disease after 20 years and it's not gonna take me another 20 years. Uh-uh, no, not like this. I'm gonna come for you. That's who I should go civil on, the doctors. I'm coming for the doctors and I'm gonna go civil until they find these tumors and they do this surgery, 20 minutes. A 20-minute surgery can completely change the life of a person with hyperparathyroidism disease. Yeah, I'm gonna get. I'm, I'm coming to get those doctors. They better watch out. I'm gonna go into the office like this. I came for a checking opinion. And you better, you better do the surgery. Do you hear me now? Because if you don't hear me yet, I'm about to freaking roar. Yeah. Yes. Again, I am so sorry that this video went on forever. This is my hypoparathyroidism rant. I have to do it. I'm going to link down below where you can go, click on it, it'll take you to read about it. You may know somebody that, that, that is suffering like this and they don't know what's wrong. You need to tell them, share that link. For now, that's it. I am going sus. Remember what this is and what this is. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe. See ya, sus.